colorless natural sound. Technix SB MX7. 59,800 yen times 2. With this speaker, Technix, which had been outside the scope of the 598 war, finally entered the war, and you can see the traces of their ingenuity to aim for something a little different from other companies. Actual weight, 26.5 kilograms. The baffle is 30 millimeters thick, which is normal, but the internal reinforcement is elaborate. Inner baffle system similar to MX-2. In the MX-2, it was cut out in the shape of the Japanese character, but in the MX-7, the frame below the Japanese character was widened and a vertical bar was inserted in the upper frame. In addition, there is one reinforcing plate in contact with the front baffle, top plate, and inner baffle, and one reinforcing plate in contact with the inner baffle, top plate, and back plate. In addition, there is a woofer cutout plate on the back plate, and an inner baffle cutout plate on the bottom plate. This makes the overall enclosure extremely strong. Since the enclosure is resistant to standing waves and has airflow resistance, the amount of sound absorbing material is kept to a minimum for a sealed type. The woofer weighs 4.2 kilograms. The magnet is Phi 140X 20 millimeters. The diaphragm is made of mica powder, natural pulp, and synthetic fibers treated with thermosetting resin to make it lightweight, durable, and noise dash resistant. It is molded into a cone and a giant dome. It is similar to a sailor cap shape, and is shallower than the so called cone shape, retaining some traces of a flat diaphragm. Because the dome diameter is extremely large, it is impossible to directly attach a voice coil here, so a voice coil is normally used and driven by a drive cone. If you look at it from a different perspective, you can also see it as a sailor cap glued onto the edge of a normal cone shape. The squawker is 1080G, and the magnet is Phi 90X 15mm. The diaphragm is made of the same material and shape as the woofer, but its diameter is smaller, so there is no need for a drive cone, and the voice coil directly drives the ring part of the sailor cap. The tweeter is 610G and the magnets are double Phi 75X 10mm plus Phi 45X 8mm, but it is not AV compatible. It is a pure mica dome, and has the common features of woofers, corker, and mica. The network is distributed vertically, with 5 coils, 5 electrolytic capacitors, and 1 film capacitor. The impedance characteristics are typical of 3-way sealing. The F characteristics are wide and flat at both 1M and 3M. There is a feeling that the midrange is slightly distorted, but there are no peaks or dips, and the characteristics are really smooth. The sound is also orthodox, it doesn't have the character of carbon, it doesn't have the ambiguity of soft music, and it's a natural sound with no colorization. It's well balanced, not overpowering, and suitable for adults, the key point is the mildness and suppleness that is unique to mica. Authentic sound with dynamic bass range. Technics has debuted in this class with top-notch competitiveness. The speaker unit uses TMD for the woofer and squawker. TMD stands for Technics Monocoque Diaphragm and features a seamless diaphragm with an integrated center cap and cone. Regarding the squawker, we adopted a method of directly attaching the voice coil to reduce transmission loss. The 32 cm diameter woofer diaphragm is made of pulp mixed with mica. The 10 cm diameter squawker and 2.5 cm diameter tweeter are pure mica diaphragms. Mica is of course natural. It is made by crushing it, adding a small amount of binder, and placing it in a mold. It has the advantage of providing higher rigidity and internal loss than carbon. The enclosure is a closed type. As a sealed structure, the dynamic feel of the low range is rich, 
and it is wonderful to reproduce bass with a three-dimensional feel rich in instantaneous power. It's thick, has good contrast, and has a realistic atmosphere that gives it a sense of urgency. It is also unique in that it expresses a sound field with a rich sense of perspective because the sound has good projection and separation. The high range has excellent granularity, crispness, and lively development with good transients, but it's nice that it never becomes harsh or overly pushy. The spread of the mid-range and high range is considerable. The atmosphere is appropriately incorporated into the neat structure, and the acoustic expressions are realistic and authentic. A dedicated stand is available as an option. It is a flat type and has a hollow interior. You can use it by putting sand etc. Pursuit of natural sound. The woofer and midrange are diaphragms molded into a cone and a center dome. The woofer is driven through a subcone for full power. The tweeter is the same pure mica as the midrange. The woofer is a mix of mica, pulp, and other fibers. It is also possible to inject sand into the separately sold dedicated pedestal. The enclosure is also elaborately made. The sound quality has no character and is nature-oriented. There is no bluff sound anywhere.